This video is part of Consumer Theory. In it, I will discuss utility functions. Utility functions are a mathematical way of describing preferences. Again, we are building a model of consumer theory, thinking right now only about what consumers want, not what they can afford, nor what they choose. Utility refers to a set of numerical values that reflect the relative rankings of various bundles of goods. A utility function is a mathematical relationship between utility measures and every possible bundle of goods. If you have a utility function, you can calculate how much utility is derived from specific consumption choices. For example, consider this utility function, u equals x times y all raised to the power 1 half, where x represents units of pizza, maybe pizza slices, and y units of burritos, the number of burritos. Say bundle A has 16 slices of pizza and 9 burritos. Plugging in x equals 16 and y equals 9 gives us a utility of 12. Bundle A gives this consumer 12 utils of happiness. Now, alone that doesn't tell us anything. But if we have a second bundle to which we can compare the first, then the utils become more meaningful. Say bundle B has 13 pizzas and 13 burritos. Plugging in x equals 13 and y equals 13 gives us a utility of 13 utils. Now we can say that since 13 is a greater number than 12, bundle B is strictly preferred to bundle A. And that's it. That's what a utility function does. It's a mathematical function or equation that represents preferences in a very particular way. Specifically, if the utils from bundle A are greater than the utils from bundle B, it follows that bundle A is strictly preferred to bundle B. In the same way, if A is strictly preferred to B, it must follow that the utils from A are greater than the utils from B. In this way, utility is an ordinal measure rather than a cardinal one. That is, utility tells us the relative ranking of two bundles, but not how much more one rank is valued than the other. We don't really care in the previous example that 12 was the number of utils from A versus 13 from B. What we did care about was that 13 was bigger than 12, so B was strictly preferred to A. Any utility function that generated B being strictly preferred to A would be consistent with these preferences. For example, we could have had the utility from A equal to 12 and the utility from B equal to 12,000. In this example, like the previous example, the utility from B was greater than the utility from A, leading us to conclude that B is strictly preferred to A. There's no extra information here in that the utils from B are 1,000 times as big as the utils from A. That doesn't matter. All that matters is 12,000 is bigger than 12, just like 13 was bigger than 12. A utility function can be transformed into another utility function in such a way that preferences are maintained. This is because utility is ordinal, not cardinal. And so all that matters is how a utility function ranks bundles. Any two utility functions that rank bundles in the same way represent the same preferences. A utility function that is a monotonic transformation of another utility function represents the same preferences. Monotonic transformations have the property that if x is greater than y before the transformation, then the transformation of x will be greater than the transformation of y. Examples include adding a constant, multiplying by a positive constant, assuming each good is positive, raising to a power that's positive, 
and applying the natural log or exponential function to the equation. For example, let's return to the utility function from earlier in this video. The utility function was u equals x times y to the power 1 half. A monotonic transformation of this function would include squaring both sides. When we square the left-hand side, we get u squared. And when we square the right-hand side, we get x times y. This u squared is simply a new u, which we might write as u prime. Using the same bundle A and bundle B now gives us the utility from bundle A equals 144, and the utility from bundle B now equals 169. Even though these numbers are different, what's the same is that Bundle B gives more utils than bundle A, and so we can conclude that B is strictly preferred to A. Again, notice that these are two seemingly different functions. However, they represent the same preferences because one is a monotonic transformation of the other, and so they rank bundles in the same way.